Mm. Uh, every dollar will go to the Minnesota Freedom Fund, and you know it's it's for all the movements, all the riots, and all you know all Black Lives Matter uh, rant and thread that I posted on my Twitter. But now we have a match, so I guess we're gonna go back into that. We got more Incineroar. But thank you for all the donations today. Thank you. Incineroar has been uh been popping up a few times. I think this is the third one we've seen thus yeah. far. I, I like this guy. I think Darkest Larry is such an impressive move because it looks so bad, right? Yep. But boy, does it always hit. Well, it, oh my god, that forward smash. Like, if you get the tip of that forward smash, it feels so... Like, so much of Incineroar's just moveset feels so powerful. You know what I yeah. mean? It just it feels good to hit. Like, Dark... Or uh, was it? Alolan Whip. Whenever you get that, you're like, oh, hell yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, me. I am smarter than you. Because I got you with this. It feels Plus, so like, different. I, it just makes me sad that a lot of characters don't have, like, good command grabs that function like that. Like, a lot of command grabs are just, like, Bowser command grab. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel as, as meaty. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's the anticipation of it, I think, where, like, you know, he's throwing you into the ropes. Although, I guess Bowser's grab has the thing where he's, like, going but in it's, the air. It's um, not like he's going to fuck that up. No. No, that's true. Yeah, he can't. There's no misinput there, you know? But Debuzz and Sinner were kind of nice. A little, a little surprised. Yeah, actually. I think yeah. Mega Man also is like... If we're talking about... Goodbye. The top, yeah, bad characters on random, I think Mega Man's got to be... Ooh, definitely. He's up there. Bottom 10, roughly. Mm -hmm. Characters John, with bad recoveries probably get a lot for it. Yeah, because of that. Like, you think you stopped the recovery, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. God, yeah. Okay. I don't think you can be happy about Mega Man. He's definitely bottom on that list. <laughs> Again, I think the heavies, you're definitely onto something because you just swing with Incineroar. And, like, the game plan is so linear in a way where it's never, like, any anticipation of what you need to do next. Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's pretty obvious and if your opponent not only is trying to deal with Incineroar's sort of limited playstyle but also trying to learn their own character at the same time yeah. it's, it's it's very difficult and Chad's asking me who are the other bottom 10 characters you'll have to find out bro I'm gonna make it to some point the problem is I can't like I need to see all of them in, in front of me you know what I mean yeah no I do it's really hard Wait, to make it fearless off the top of your head way too many characters Oh. Uh, someone in my chat said Incineroar F tilt is two frames off of Luigi F smash, and it's like the same move. Wait, what? Yeah. Dude, I feel like if you put Incineroar on paper, he's busted. Yeah. But then when you put him in practice, it's like, oh, he sucks, you know? No, he's definitely one of those characters. Because, like, when you saw Revenge, you were like, oh, what if you, Revenge? Ganon F smash. <laughs> it's, it's just like, well, what is the most powerful hypo, hypo, uh, hypothetic scenario? Yeah. And it's never happened. I remember, I think I saw a video like that where it was like five Roy's countering something, like I, countering a fully charged eruption or something. I don't know. Yeah. Something like I did, I did something like that. I tried to get like 999% dealt with Incineroar once. And I just did giant Ganon Warlock Punch. And oh, oh. giant Ganon Warlock Punch. And then I made an F Smash Tipper Buster Shulk. <laughs> and, and that did it. And I think I also had Spirits turned on. But ever since Hero came out, that changed a lot of the stuff. Because now I've seen people break like 6,000% dealt with Hero. Oh, yeah. Hero just, like, blows open the game, especially, like, yeah. for content people, because, like, he just has so many new things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, they had spirits, they had oops, psych up, and then, like, yeah, tons of bullshit. Oh, no, Shulk! Yeah, this is a hard one. Was getting so unlucky. He got Mega Man and then Shulk. Shulk, again, probably a... Not bottom 10? Okay, I actually do have faith in this Shulk if he immediately went to speed art and knew where it was. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, because, like, speed art it. is the right first art you throw out, but the fact he already knows where they are. I think that's huge. He didn't hold the menu and look. 
Yeah, yeah like, he's like no more. Yeah. Shulk is, he is one of those characters where if you just wanted to play without the arc, you could just swing the sword. Yeah, but it then it's like mad sword. slow, you know? It's still like, it's not even like he's like. It's so big though. Yeah, he's got a lot of range. Maybe yeah. it'll work out. He's got jump now. I think he knows how to play Shulk, or at least better than what I would expect from this tournament. Well, better than DeBuzz is doing on uh, a Piranha Plan, at least so far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Force the air dodge. Ah! Bam, Lilacs. Yeah, that really turned around. Ben Darian was, he just shouldn't have gone off stage. That's all it was. Oh. Or a smash art, actually. But up tilt. Look at all the choices. What do you do with on stage jump art? You can't. You, you time out invincibility. Mm, yeah. Got two forward tilts. Buster's out. Ooh, lots of. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Shulk's combo tree opens up so much with Buster, and it's crazy. He gets down throw F tilt, and like. I don't, I don't know. That just seems gross to me because it. you see the moves in tandem, and they just don't look like it should work, but it does. Yeah. None of his moveset looks like they should, like, string into each other. You know, they're all just yeah. so, like, long-lasting and, like, high range. It's like, okay, well, if you get one hit, you get one hit, but... Yeah, but, like, Buster down air deals, like, 30%. Oh, ball. ball. Buzz putting it away, though. And, like you said, Pandarian doesn't look like a stranger to Shulk, but, again, like, Shulk probably is also in the bot bottom... Maybe not 10, but bottom 15. Oh no, he air dodge! Oh. That was because of Smash Art, though. Forced him to yep. air dodge with the Smash Art? Uh huh. You just smash the R button. Oh, cool, uh -huh. he found the down B, finally. It's been a minute, huh? I love watching random because you can tell when players remember moves. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Yep. They don't know any of it. And then they're like, wait, oh yeah, I have a down B. And then I'll never use it again. Yeah, it was just more like, oh yeah. I bet if you go watch his commentary right now, he was like, oh yeah. And that's it. He doesn't say much else. Just like, oh yeah. As I'm off but, stage, do not go off stage. It. You saw what happened before. Bro, it's Lila. Just let that down air rip. <gasps> Hold on. Good that shield. was it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, bold move. Order, order, order. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so you were saying that's a, a loss for Pandarian, but he felt like he it was last stock, last hit, but I feel like Pandarian had the momentum the entire game. He was he was mostly in control, yeah. Yeah. Like some of the deaths just kind of felt like DePuzz threw these options out and Pandarian was more so like, why did I get hit by that instead of why did he throw that out? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he just, he just died a ball a lot. Like, you would air dodge in the ball. Yeah. Well, Piranha Plant takes time getting used to. Yeah. Like, you you have to remember, like, oh, vertically, he's a monster. You know? You can't be anywhere near that. We'll see what Pandarian gets this time. Mega Man into Shulk. Not a enviable position, but maybe this third one. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do you, if, okay, what do you think went wrong at Game of Your Buzz? Who are you going to pick now? Uh, Pichu, that's a good choice. Oh, God, he's going to yeah. get blown up. I, I don't agree with the Pichu pick from the Buzz, personally. I, I felt like his plant was doing fine. <laughs> well, sometimes you got to explore different avenues, and yeah. you know, maybe he wants to do a little bit more damage, but die a lot earlier. I don't know. Would it be a surprise it. if he goes back to playing game four, game five? I, I would, with 80 chariots. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's probably optimal. He's doing fine. I just want to see him going all the mark. I would, I would I love to see him going Olimar or Rosalina. If he could get I either of those. I think the Buzz Olimar would probably be one of the more oppressive choices in this bracket. Like, yeah. Like, I don't think Nairopolitana would oppress someone's Little Mac as hard as the Buzz Olimar would. It would be mean. Yeah, you know? it'd be and, like, mean. It would feel, it would, it would feel like you're fighting a guy with one arm. You know, it doesn't feel the same. Yeah. Yeah, this matchup is definitely hard. God, he was holding shield strong against that Saturn. Yeah. Oh. I just take my hands off the trigger. Like, that's it. It's not even an option for me. Yeah, don't even touch it. Well, it didn't used to break shields, like, in one hit. It used to be, like, you know, it did a lot of shield damage, but it didn't break it right away. 
I think it breaking sh like shields out right is fine, but the crazy thing is that it's not just when it's thrown anymore. It's now if he's moving. Yeah. Like not walking, but if he if you back air it into someone's shield, it will break. That happened. That's so scary. It happened very early, uh, like Samsor Mars when Mars was playing Ike at like Let's Make Moves, the first one. I don't know why I remember that because that was one of the first Ultimate tournaments. Okay. But that happened at that environment, and I was like, holy shit, that's wild. <laughs> Probably caught both of them off guard, too. Mm -hmm. See um, back throw? Yep. Stefano says, why is chat dead? I don't know. Spam something funny. Why don't you chat? Yeah. It's on you. Interesting how no random mains are in top eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, makes you yeah. think. Yeah, makes you think. They're top players for a reason, bro. Top players can pick up random and do better than the random mains. That's yeah, crazy. that's so crazy. Think about all the the one tours. You'd be like, yeah, I guess I made random. Like, I do respect the people who only go random and bracket because you know they're just there to have a fun time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, we're oh, getting kicked out. Oh right? no. Well. Well, the buzz is streaming. The buzz is streaming. Let me see. The buzz is streaming. But also, that's one stock left on Pichu. That feels like a wrap to me. Hey, it's been a while since this has happened. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen all that often. At least not yeah. from what I've seen. Yo, not you as see much that smash? <laughs> Yo, that shit was crazy. I, I'm on uh, I'm on the buzz's stream right now. Oh, I can see right now. It looks great. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's there's always have to be anime on at all times. Oh, I, I like... He, he is in Pucker Prime right now. Oh, God, he is, isn't he? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's Lippo mode right there. We can't see he, the percents, but it doesn't matter. We know Pichu's about to die. He even has the headset thing down. Like I like green screen to edit in picture. That's always my <laughs> favorite. Oh. Oh, no. he didn't know how to recover. You hate to see it happen. Oh, not like this. The bu Oh, wait, he put it on the thing. Okay, well, thank you, Andrew. I didn't even see it there. Yeah. All right, thank so that's a 2-1 right. for Pandarian. Well, maybe the buzz will go back to plant. Maybe he'll go back to his roots, you know? Maybe uh, with the Olimar Rosalina that he's been known for, but has recently dropped. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was, uh... Because, like, when you see DeBuzz and Pandarian, like, both are very good players, but there's obviously a yeah. gap between DeBuzz and, Pan like, on DeBuzz's side. Sure. So I definitely expected a, a bit more, because I... Neither one of them have really been known for character variety, but I, I don't know the kind of fiend Pandarian is, because Shulk is one of those characters you don't just pick up. No. I, I, Pandarian's been getting kind of a raw deal with these character choices. So maybe he'll get something busted. There you go! Oh, no. The Buzz Ooh. plays Banjo. The Buzz yeah. plays Banjo, though. You saw the Ganon, and then you realized. Yeah, maybe One, not. Go. This... There okay, so... Like three characters? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know. But... Uh, this is hard, because, like, I feel like Ganon's super good in this. But not only does the Buzz play Banjo, but Banjo has got to be one of the worst characters Ganon could run into online specifically, too. And from the buzz of all people. Yes. Yep. 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 But look at this percent. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. He's Pandarian is playing this incredibly patient. Much yeah, more patient than an actual Ganon main would go. I was gonna say I definitely would be in there just swinging. Yeah. He, I'm surprised he didn't brute force it. Oh shit. Oh, he knows the wizard foot stuff. Okay. He did a fair up smash, which that's a shield break combo, by the way. Yeah. It's it's like, it's not true. You can jump out of it. You can spot dodge. You can roll. But, like, no one's going to. Because you just feel stuck. Yeah. Oh, no. But Wrinkles gets the like shit on everybody. Oh, punish, punish, but Nope. I hate when people don't punish that move. It's always so linear. Yeah, I think he could have gotten flame chunk, but I don't know. He's yeah. trying to, like, zone break him with that uh, down B, but, like, the buzz is just playing right outside the range. Yeah, this is, kind of, this is just hard. Like, on paper, this is hard, and in practice, it's even harder. Yeah. There you go, finally. Yeah. One for six. You still got one. Ooh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Just got a shield, bro. Come on. No! Well. Uh, hit that wizard's foot. 
Dude, he was mashing that button. He was just hoping. Oh, don't die here. I saw <laughs> that down tilt could have killed a Ganondorf. Yeah, would have just like barely hit him off. Wizard's foot? No. Oh. All the feathers are gone though. Yeah. Might that be is time. one thing about Banjo is that you always have to respect so much of his space because you're like, is he about to wonder wing? There you go, Pandarium with the neutral error. 58, not terrible. Remember, he got like 90 right off the bat in the first stop. Because the second part about that uh, the Banjo Wonder Wing is that even though, yeah, it is very reactable, one, you're on Wi-Fi, and two, if you're throwing out attacks, it doesn't matter if it's reactable because you're probably already caught in an animation. Yeah. Because that's, I feel like that's where Wonder Wing shines, is like, you're like, all right, I'm playing neutral, oh shit. <laughs> It's like in that in that spot where like you're floating right in front of Banjo, waiting for a reaction. Like, like that the air dodge, yep. right there. He was trying to nair to just like space him out, and then he just did it. Tough. Yeah. Cause like people always say like Wonder Wing's reactable, and it's like yes, it is, but it's all it's all about context, right? Yeah. If you've already put in a move, reacting to it doesn't do anything either. You know. Yeah. You have to just. Hold back on a lot of it. I don't well, know if you get to react right now. Uh, oh, oh no! I can't see. There you go. I think he had three. Yeah. Yeah, Pandaria was kind of schmoovin' in that interaction. I felt like he was gonna die somehow. Oh, Gain would have ups uppy right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot him. Dude, it's so crazy that Gain and upbe is, is now a move? thing you can do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there he is. Rough, rough. Yeah, we're not even hitting up B. We're not giving him any chance. All right, so we're at the game five. The Buzz Pandarian. Go yeah. the distance. Um, I feel like a lot of these games we have kind of um, almost called as the characters are revealed. Definitely that one. <laughs> so yeah. I, I wonder how it's going to look right out the gates. Who do we think is going to win after this immediate set? Uh, oh. Oh. Um? Pandaria is like Pacific Northwest, so like Big D yeah. is around that area. But again, Ice Climbers like Shulk isn't one of those characters you can just download by playing against. This is tough. Because yeah. like, Icy's do a ton of damage, but no, I think Falco wins this. I think Falco wins this. Yeah. Because I also think Falco's biggest flaw is that you can just edge guard him so easily. But Ice Climbers aren't really those go off stage and hit you kind of characters. No. They don't really have any moves that confidently send you out. And up tilt splits them up like super easily. If you just yeah. get like one up tilt, you can just knock them apart. Which that's the biggest thing about playing these ice climbers. It's just if you can separate them, like you just break the character down. Like look at that. Yeah, that's uh, she's gone. Oh, good yeah. juke. Yeah, this is this is hard. Because, again, Falco is just such an easier character to understand. Yeah. Ice Climbers require a base level. Like, they're kind of fundamental because you can get a lot of damage just by, like, hitting the opponent as much as you can. But but every somebody, interaction requires such knowledge of these intricacies. Yeah. Somebody in my chat just said this is the least aggressive I've ever seen a Falco. That's kind of true, actually. Yeah. It's, it's like, who's driving the car right now? Yeah. Who's going 30 miles under the speed limit right now? It's like he's afraid of getting grabbed by Ice Climb. Yeah, that, but it's like, the buzz, you're fine. Yeah. Just has PTSD. It, it's the brawl player in him. He's like, all right, Falco can't get grabbed. Yep. The Pandaria, despite, you know, us talking about it, he's not too far behind. No, definitely not, but I didn't it, get it's the like, it's not the kind of far where it feels like he can carry the momentum forward. You yeah. Know? Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, because even if he gets the, the kill, like, you don't have, like, super fast damage racking, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you do get damage fast, but you need to get every hit. Like, all jokes aside, this is the most debuzzed Falco I could ever imagine. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, I think if you took off the player names, like, I could tell you who this was, you know? <laughs> yeah. I could guess. It's so funny how that works, because 
it, it transcends the characters because yeah. Falcos don't look like this because if you want to play like this, you'll probably play Olimar or Rosalina. Yeah. Which is exactly who he plays. So in this scenario, it's just kind of like how you transform this character into something it was not meant to be. Damn, up smash is that strong? I guess I just never see it hit because it has like that weird, you know, oh no, yeah. here it is. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah, watching watching the buzz do this kind of feels like when Rock was stolen from Jazz, you know? <laughs> it's like you, you took Falco and turned it into this. <laughs> it wasn't what he was meant to be. Yeah. It's just like, well, I don't know. Falco is not in his blood. I'll just say yeah. that. Like, he's yeah. just... But, you know, it's working. It's just this this horrible T-virus Falco. It, it definitely feels forceful. Like, Falco doesn't want to do this. <laughs> Like, Falco is just, like, being controlled by a parasite yeah. in his brain. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. goes Nana. This isn't what Falco was meant to do, you know? Big kiss. Mwah. He's... Yeah. he's is gone. he gonna even try? See, a real Falco main would have gone for that down air, regardless if it would have saved him on accident. Yeah. That was just disappointing. People were saying, Falco's here, where's Joe? Joe did not want to watch that Falco. Straight up, no. <laughs> yeah, that would have made him yeah. very sad. So All that's right. it. Buzz gonna make it into the top eight. Well done. Yeah. Do we have the rest of the top eight? Do we know who's in it? Um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I can tell you. So Andrew is going to join um, Critical's new room, and then we're going to get it all set up in a second. But our top eight includes Stroder versus Leo, which 